In this video, I'll be using Group Policy to configure Microsoft Edge to open pages on Startup. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I'll be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Microsoft Edge settings via Group Policy. And here you can see the objective for this video, I'll be configuring Microsoft Edge to open YouTube and also Google.com on Startup. Also here you can find all the policy settings and values that I will be using in this video. And I will begin this video by going to my Vember workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy, so I will go to Tools, Group Policy Management, I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Edge Settings, then I will click OK. I will expand group policy objects, I will select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it and select edit. And because I will be creating this policy for my computers, I will go to computer configuration, policies, administrative templates, Microsoft Edge, and here I will click on startup homepage and new tab page. And first I will be configuring this setting, action to take on startup, I will click on it. I will enable it and then for action to take on startup, I will select open a list of URLs. Then I will click apply and OK and the second setting I will be configuring is type to open when the browser starts, I will open it, I will enable it, then I will click show. And here we need a list of URLs that we want to open, so like I said I will be opening YouTube and Google.com. So here I will enter HTTPS, then Google.com, and second one is HTTPS, YouTube.com. And that's basically it, now I'll click OK, Apply, and OK. And that's it for configuring this policy, so I'll close this window. I will go to Details, and for GPO status, I'll select User Configuration Settings Disabled, because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave other settings on default. Now after creating the policy, I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which I want to apply these settings. In my case, the organization unit will be this one, and it's called Computers. And it is holding all the computers in my domain. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. I will open Microsoft Edge and as you can see, even though I have the policy instead of Google.com and YouTube.com, Microsoft starting page is opening up. And that's because even though I have the policy, I didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines. So I'll do it manually, I will go to my start menu, I will search for CMD and then open it. And here I will type GP update, press enter and wait a bit. And as you can see, the policy update was successful. If I go back to Microsoft Edge and close it and open it this time, instead of the Microsoft starting page, we have google.com and also youtube.com. And that means that the policy is working just fine. And that's basically it for this video, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and see you in the next one.